This is the gun. It's not hard to put together. President Biden today demonstrating a so-called ghost gun at the White House, a weapon that's easily available, untraceable, and he wants them regulated. Mr. Biden is calling on Congress to put ghost guns in the same category as all firearms, and he enlisted the help of a Saugus High School student who survived the 2019 school shooting here to get his message across. KKL9's Amy Johnson is live at the newsroom with the new battle on the gun control front. Amy. Well, Juan, that student was a freshman at Saugus High School when the shooting happened. She spoke about the horrible morning that left her best friend dead, and she got to introduce the President of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great honor to introduce the strongest gun sense commander in chief ever to hold office. President Joe Biden. A presidential introduction by local teen Mia Tretta. I'm speaking on behalf of two classmates who can't be here with us, one of whom was my best friend. Tretta survived the 2019 school shooting at Saugus High School. She spoke at the White House about the fateful morning of November 14th. We spent the morning like any other, laughing, talking, until we heard a loud pop. It was a gunshot followed by six more. Tretta was one of five students shot. She was hit in the stomach. Her best friend, 14-year-old Dominic Blackwell and 15-year-old Gracie Ann Milberger were killed. I later learned that we had been shot by a 16-year-old student for reasons I will never know. He had brought his father's weapon to school, a firearm I would come to know as a ghost gun. Ghost guns are homemade firearms that can be assembled using a 3D printer or with kits purchased online. They lack serial numbers, which make it impossible for law enforcement to trace them. This is the gun. It's not hard to put together. President Biden is proposing new rules that would require gun makers to include serial numbers, be federally licensed, run background checks, and keep purchase records as long as they are in business. Because of these updates, Law enforcement will have additional crime gun intelligence to stop gun violence. Tretta joined other survivors and gun victims' families in the Rose Garden for the announcement. Dominic and Gracie's parents are with us today. Are you prepared to stand up? If I don't want to embarrass you, but would you stand up? Nothing has relieved the pain in my heart like working to prevent more senseless shootings. And Tretta works with a number of organizations turning her pain into progress. The new regulations are likely to face lawsuits from manufacturers and gun rights groups. Similar legislation is already up for debate here in California after the recent mass shooting in Sacramento. Now state lawmakers are considering more than three dozen new gun control measures. I'll send it back to you.